Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out Anti-Air Time, which is a resource that uh, keeps cars from flying and everything. Uh, so what this does is pretty much all the jumps around the map, it will make it so you just teleport directly on the floor, you're not actually jumping. Because in real life you wouldn't really do a jump over those gigantic things, and it's just unrealistic for roleplay servers. So, thank you to the author for making this free and releasing it on the forums, very much appreciated. If you have resources you want me to review or ideas for them, please leave them down in the comments below so I can take a look and look around the forums for a future video. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So this is pretty easy to install. All you have to do is go ahead and download the anti-air time from the resource page located at the top of the description. Clicking it will automatically download a zip file and you're going to open it up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up your zip files. For me, I'm using WinRAR, um, but it can be pretty much whatever you want. And you see in here, it has the anti-air time folder. Inside of here, you got the DLL and the FX manifest file. So all you have to do for this is just drag in this anti-air time folder into your resources folder. And if you don't know where your resources folder is, um, um, it normally is wherever you have set up the server, it's going to be located. So if you set it up using the easy installer, it's probably in your TX admin panel or your TX admin data folder on your drive. Or if you set it up using the old method, it would be in your server data folder, uh, wherever that may be for you. All right, so now that we have this in here, we're just going to go ahead and right click rename, but we're not actually going to rename it. We're just going to copy the name of the folder so we can make sure we get it exact in case I have any spelling mistakes or anything. You don't run into those types of things. Go back to wherever you keep your server.cfg file. Um, in my case, it's my server data folder as well, but you may have it in your TX admin like online panel, or if you're using a host, you may have it in your FTP as well. And then at the top where you see the other uh, resources being started, you're just going to add ensure and the name of the full or the name of the folder we have, which is anti airtime, just like that. And if we go ahead and start the server using our start.bat file, you can see um, once it loads up here, started resource anti airtime. Now we're going to go ahead and hop in game and check it out. All right, so now that we are in game, if we go ahead and steal this vehicle and try to do this jump at the airport, we are going to see it actually does not work, which is going to be um, how this is designed. So if you jump off pretty much anything, uh, pretty much what it's going to do is teleport you to the ground. Um, so it says at the top, hey, I don't know if you knew, but airtime is not allowed on this server. So clearly it knows when you jump, it teleports you back down, which is really useful because obviously you don't want random people doing jumps around your server. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a delay, but I think that's just due to how uh, 5M works in detecting when people are off the ground and stuff. So just keep that in mind. There's not much I don't think the author could do about that, but it does come in uh, handy quite often just because, you know, it's a nice little resource to use. So thank you so much for checking this out today. If you have questions, please author the author on the resource page and let me know of any other resources you want me to review over in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and join the channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in two days.